I'm so excited. So excited, I can't hide it. Hey you guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. So today, we have the Old El Paso Hard Shell Bold Cheese Tacos. And then we have like one soft taco. The whole plan was to eat four hard shell. I'm trying to go five because I've been drinking water all day. And it's like probably two, three, three o'clock in the afternoon. So yes. And then we have Woli guacamole, avocado, salsa, or no, it's just avocado with some salsa in it, and tortilla chips. So yes, I'm hungry. I don't know avocado. Avocado was so good. And of course, I got water. Drink water, mind your business. Um, my favorite thing I love to put on my tacos the Taco Bell fire sauce. So, yes, let's go into this video. You guys, I cut my finger open and up the top of this. It's been a long day. Mm. He's gonna get on my tortilla. I thought they had chips. But child right there. Mm. But how have you guys been? Oh, we need to pray. Oh, we need to pray. <laughs> My bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, when it comes to tacos, I love tacos. <sighs> God, please thank you for this food. I'm, I'm not going to say bless whoever's hands made it because I made it. But let's pray that this food is amazing. And I thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Because you didn't know when you order out. Yeah. <laughs> you hope whoever prepared your food. They wash their hands and all that. But I washed my hands and made sure it was good. Oh. That's the only thing I don't like about hard shell. It's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna need y'all just scooch, scooch over. I always was a soft shell type girl, but this bowl, nacho cheese, hard shell. Mm. Ooh, that hot, but I love it.
geht's hin. It's not so hot. But I love it. Again, how have you guys been? How have you guys are good? It's so much going on right now. So much. 2020 is not showing us any mercy. Oh, Jesus. Mm. I was very excited about making a video today. Because, I don't know, I haven't been as motivated. I'm guessing that everything is going on. Like, soon my birthday is going to be coming up in August. So, um, I've just been feeling some type of way about, like, I don't want to say the world, I'm not opening it up, but just certain things I can't do for my birthday. Like, I wanted to go back to Europe, or not even just Europe, somewhere with the beach, you know what I'm saying, I can just chill in the sun or whatever, it's like that. And it's like, I already wasted one vacation, so of course, the vacation for my birthday, well, I can make a vacation out of any week, but the vacation for my birthday is just kind of like, I always thought that it would be in another country. I'll wake up in another country like I did last year. Or, you know, the years before waking up in a different city or whatever like that. So, I don't know. I hope things get better. But if not, can't trip about it. It was like with me, I'm gonna push myself to be like a little bit motivated and stuff like that. I gotta give it to certain YouTubers for a lot. First, like the fact I know some YouTubers, they um, like me, they work a full time job and they upload every single day or every other day they find time for that and trust me if i could like upload every single day i would but because <clears throat> i work a full-time job and then i have other things that i need to do it becomes tiresome because then it's just kind of like when you get off from work i get it some people be like if you're really motivated if it's something that you really want you would put in the effort and it's like yeah but since i know like when you wake up at three four o'clock in the morning to go to work and you know the way things are going right now or just basically like getting overtime and stuff like that or trying to get overtime you know to make sure that you pay your bills and stuff like that and still have money to spend or just save up whatever whatever it is it's like who wants to come home around like five o'clock in the afternoon and record a video and that that sounds bad because you know i'm creating videos on youtube this isn't that you know i want my followings to go up but it's just like at the end of the day though if i didn't if i was working part-time yes i would be uploading a video every single day but i work full-time because youtube is not my source of income my job is other 
certain things that I do is my source of income, you know, whether it's my, um, my sweets business where, you know, I sell cupcakes and cheesecakes and, um, cookies and even my catering business where, you know, I cater parties and stuff like that. It's just, those are my other source of income. So it's like, why put that on pause or slow that down to make a video every single day? And that's not what's bringing in money at that moment. When I first started YouTube, it was oh every every other month, or not every other month. Every month I'm uploading a video, and so I was like, you know what? Let's not make it every month, because then if you think about it, that's twelve videos in a year. I was like, let me upload every week or every other week, and it was every other week to. Now I'm trying to bring content every week. And the schedule is supposed to be like Sundays because Sundays I have like meal prep and all that. But I told y'all, at TNT, sorry, it's not working for me. If I use like my Wi Fi to try to upload a video it's going to take two to three days for that video to upload because that's how slow it is if i use my lte or whatever it is for verizon it i could take a nap i can promise you i can take a nap at 1 p.m when i wake up at um the latest 2 p.m 3 p.m the video when i wake up it'll be like oh it uploaded like 14 minutes ago but because you have it set on private that's why it hasn't went up it's just like what the heck it's just basically just trying to find like a a balance a balance between everything because trust me I want to upload every day or I want to upload um, every other day the thing with uploading every day is like how I'm eating right now I don't eat like this every day when I say I don't eat like this every day it's meaning like when I'm at work I could like I could eat an omelet at work and when I get off, I'll probably like snack on something and then that's just it for me. When I get off, come home, you know, take care of whatever I need to take care of. Take a shower, get comfortable in bed. And it's like once I take a shower and I get comfortable, I'm not going back out. I'm not going back out. So basically, I've just been trying to find like a balance between everything. Well, at the end of the day, I can make YouTube a full time job. Where I'm uploading every day or two videos a day or whatever it is. But. I still have a full-time job at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. 
fare so most definitely I'm gonna try to find a balance because it's supposed to be every Sunday I upload a video. But because things were like going slow or too much was happening at one time and I was so busy, I would miss uploading like around the evening time of Sunday. And I think probably like a few weeks ago I started uploading on a Tuesday, so then I tried to keep that schedule. But with like work, my schedules like be changing and stuff like that. I told you guys I work for the airline, so sometimes like with what's going on right now, they're not there. It just basically is kind of like just trying to figure out like what's a set schedule for all of us, really. Because people are still find out, thank God. But you know. What can you do? And I got the family size. I didn't mention guacamole. Because any other time, I'm going to tell you, I will eat the mess out of that. But that's because it be having like sauce on top. It's just guacamole. And that was two nine two ninety eight at Walmart. But, like, half the size with the sauce on top, it's the same price. So I was like, what's the whole point of me buying that small thing? What's also for two ninety eight? When I can get this family size one, and I got salsa in my kitchen, so I'll definitely be eating that later on tonight when I'm binge watching Netflix. Hmm. We got one more hard shell taco. <clears throat> to go that soft shell I don't know I don't know if that's gonna make it but like I said at the beginning I've been drinking water it's gonna drip I've been drinking water all day and you know like you know how like when you were little you used to go to like the restaurants and stuff like that and like you would like drink your juice or whatever it is that you were like getting like coke whatever stuff like that and your mom was like all right i'm just letting you know when that food comes you better eat it all because you're constantly sipping on this drink and um you know they had to give you a refill before your food even came i'm one of the type of people i can like drink water and it'll quench my appetite at the moment but then like later on in the day if I be like oh well, I'm not hungry and I don't try to put something in my stomach that's not very bad but if I don't try to put something in my stomach but I can promise you especially like today taco day taco night oh sweet I can almost promise you what is it probably like three three four o'clock around ten o'clock midnight which i need to work on it because you grab me having to work out but around midnight oh i'm gonna wake up and make me some tacos and be on netflix or youtube eating while watching netflix eating some tacos while watching netflix so yeah i gotta get my eating habit back on track mm. Mm -mm -mm.
And I forgot to mention this is a beef and shrimp taco that I made today. I know some people say it's healthier to eat like ground turkey. I probably need to try that. I don't know when. But yeah. I just had like a flashback to when a soft talk almost killed me. And I'm not the only one when you have soft tacos. Ooh, time burn. You put them in the oven just a little bit, just, just to get a little. So it ain't all the way soft, but it's just the right, I don't know how to explain it. But um, I put a soft taco in there. And I guess I left it in there a little too longer than like what I usually do. You guys. I was in there eating it, and a part of it was like, I guess a part of it got hard while it was in the oven. So I was eating it. Um, I guess I wasn't chewing my food as much as I should have. And it was like this big little piece that like, when I felt swallowing my food, it went to the back of my throat and it was like blocking my like air passage or whatever you wanna call it, my esophagus. And I was just sitting there choking. And like, I don't wanna say I panicked, but it was more so of, I was trying to swallow the food, but because it was blocking my passage, I was trying to breathe too. When I tell you guys, when they finally like went down my esophagus, I, I thought I had sore throat. And anybody that has had sore throat in the past, you know that feeling of like your throat like being dry and it like hurts and any like just swallowing you know your spit or ugh, this sounds nasty thinking out loud about it saying it out loud my bad swallowing your spit just any little thing it irritates your throat you can drink some orange juice and it hurts your throat because it's sore i had sore throat for five days straight because of that because of like the hard piece of the tortilla like scraping against like the back of my throat trying to go down and you know I was at work and everybody was just like oh you don't feel good what's wrong I have sore throat they act like I had coronavirus they act like it was the end of the world but it wasn't so I don't know why they were acting like that but It's probably another reason why I've been staring clear of soft tacos. Because I put this one in the oven. We're not having the same relationship anymore. But other than that. <clears throat> I hope you guys are good. Staying safe. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now. Cause I'm full. Don't forget, you know, wear your mask, wash your hands, do whatever you need to protect you, your family, your loved ones, your friends, co-workers. You know, if you're still going to work and stuff like that. Just take the initiative. Um, yes. It's something's going on in this world right now. And I just want everybody to be safe. 
at this point. Because 2020 ain't playing with this right now. Everybody thought it was going to be that year. It's everybody year right now at this point. We're all going through it. But, um, yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.